for his first patch a day, Ben made use of Fizz Ghost and Fizz Multiple to create interesting particle patterns using forces. Andrew also decided to use Fizz Ghost and Fizz Multiple and he added six GL cameras to create this video feedback cube. Corey wanted to explore uh, dynamic concave shapes surrounding simple rigid bodies and he used matrix output from a grid shape crossfaded with jet dot noise. Another one from Andrew, uh, a kind of max pinball and he's using kinetic rigid bodies and hinge motors. Here's my racer patch. A JavaScript file creates random racer structures and drops them onto a randomly generated terrain of, I don't know, dipping dots? In this patch, gen code creates a force matrix for Fizz Multiple, and that's based on a path generated with JIT.path, uh, designed to simulate a kind of vortex effect. Indiana Jones better watch his back. Ben decides to freak us out with a kind of snake pit, and this is made using cylinders connected with um, six degree of freedom constraints and feeding a JIT.GL.path object. Here we have a chain using concave shapes. Basis function generator used to dynamically modify a terrain. Fizz.ghost exploding a stack of boxes. Fizz.multiple connects a bunch of spheres using hinge constraints to create some interesting structures. Again, Fizz.multiple, but this time Instead of spheres, we have ducks. Ragdoll toss. Not everything has to be 3D. If you're afraid of that third dimension, Fizz World works fine in 2D mode. Here, a rigid body is attached to the foot of our little walking dude. I slightly modified Darwin's patch a day to create this kind of amusement park ride. I attached the hinges to a rigid body in, that I used Anim Drive to spin. This patch pulls the skeleton information out of a collada file and creates a structure of anim node objects allowing you to attach rigid bodies and control the, the model skeleton. This can be used to do inverse kinematics on the model's limbs and as a general sort of ragdoll editor giving you complete dynamic control of the render view and the properties of the physics objects.